Miss Alessandra here from the Weston Public Library bringing you another Maker Monday project. For week four of our Summer Library Adventure program, our theme is um, mythical creatures. So uh, our project today is a fairy or troll house. So you can decide if you want to make a house for a fairy or a house for a troll. And I'm going to give you some different options of what you can use to make it. I'm going to be making a um, fairy house and I'm going to be using a plate, a cup, I'm using styrofoam, you could use um, paper, you could use um, plastic, whatever you have available to you. You could use a milk carton, an old milk carton or an old um, bottle. Um, this is what I have available so this is what I'm going to use. And then um, you'll need some type of glue. I'm going to be using a hot glue gun, but you can use a glue stick, liquid glue. Um, you'll need some type of coloring. I'm using markers. And then some type of embellishments. So I have pom-poms in here. I have um, pipe cleaners and uh, little gems in here. So I'm going to be using all of those, but if you have buttons, if you have um, gems or rocks, or um, you can use those. And then I'm also going to be using um, some stones. So these are just stones I found outside, so I'll be using those as well. And a pair of scissors. So I'll let you know as we go through this different things that you can use for the parts that I'm making. Uh, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to um, create the house and um, you'll need your scissors and your cup for this or your jug if you're using a old milk carton um, or an old bottle and you're going to actually just be cutting out a door. That's the first part of our project. You're just going to be cutting out a door, so just a little door like that, so that our fairy or our troll can get inside. Um, and then you're going to decide how you want to design your house. I'm going to be using some different color pom-poms, so I'm going to grab those out and get those ready. Um, so fairies like bright things, uh, trolls like dark things. So if you wanted to do it based on the what they're attracted to, I would say use bright colors for fairies and dark colors for trolls. So I'm just trying to find some bright colors that my fairy might like. And these you can put in your room, you could put outside on your porch if you have a porch. Um, wherever you think your fairy or troll might like to come or you want them to have their little house. And they're so tiny, that's why we're making a tiny house for them. I'm gonna take these out because I'm gonna need them later. But yeah, I'm just selecting a bunch of, you know, brightly colored pom-poms for my fairy. These are going to be my pom-poms, and I also took out a couple of um, pipe cleaners that I'll be using later. So I'm going to start designing the house with the pom-poms by using my glue and just gluing on the pom-poms in different areas. I am going to put large pom-poms on the top. And I'm just sticking them on. So, and one more. Okay, so I'm just sticking them on top. And then I'm going to put smaller pom poms all around the outside of my house. So I'll do one side and I'll show you what that looks like first. And I'm not really putting them in any pattern just putting them on 
and sticking them oops, in random places to cover the whole outside here. Like I said, you can use any type of embellishments that you have at home. Um, so that would be things like buttons, if you have gems or rocks, um, if you have foam pieces you want to use, you could do that as well. Um, I have one random feather here, so I'll probably use that somewhere. Okay, and I'm just going around and sticking these on wherever there's some glue. Okay, so that's my side so far. I think I might put my feather right um, above the door here. So if you have feathers, you could do that. I'm gonna put my feather right above the door and glue more pom-poms on the other sides of my house here. Okay, so that is the basics of my fairy house. Um, now that I've decorated the cup that's going to be my fairy house, I'm going to glue the bottom of the cup onto my plate. And I'm gonna glue it um, pretty far back because I'm gonna make a walkway with my rocks. So that is the basic house of the fairies. And now I had told you I was going to be using um, some pipe cleaners. And I'm actually going to be using those pipe cleaners to make a little walkway. So I'm gonna cut these in half. And I'm just gluing these right up my, um, my plate. Where my door is, this is going to be where I glue the walkway leading from the edge of my plate all the way up to my door. And you could do this with a strip of fabric. You could again do this with buttons um, or stones. If you have stones, I'm using pipe cleaners. Um, and again, I just picked some bright colors that I had available. So there's my little walkway for my fairy house. Okay. And now I'm going to use some real rocks um, to place around the house as if it is um, a yard or just um, a fun area for them to be in. Again, I think my fairies will like. Um, just hanging out in some rocks. So I have rocks here and I'm just gluing them um, in random places on my paper plate. My rocks are pretty big, so it's good that I'm using um, some hot glue because otherwise they would not stick. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Again, like I said, I'm just using things that I have available to me. So whatever is available to you, you can think of ways to make the house. You can think of ways to make a walkway, things you would see outside. If you have something that would be really great as maybe a fountain in their yard, um, you can also add that in. So it's just using the things that you have around your house, what's available to you to make a little house for your fairy. And I have a couple of these little um, gems. I'll show you what they look like. I'm just gonna add those in to again, um, bring some brightness. So these are my little gems. I'm just going to, again, glue those in random places. I'm going to put one on the house here. And then I'll put some near my stones. Just to add a 
little bit of color in. Okay. So that is my fairy house. So like I said, I just added in things that I had available to me and um, made a little entrance. If you had some fabric, you could put fabric inside. Um, you could use flowers or leaves on the outside. Um, I just made it very brightly colored, made a house, made a walkway outside. I put some um, rocks, but you could use whatever you have available to you. Um, and then the last part is just um, putting some designs. So if you have some markers or crayons, you could color the rest of the paper plate. You could color um, around in the yard area. Um, you could write a message, whatever you would like to do. But that is our week four. Glue string hanging week for um, maker project for a fairy house um, for our mythical creatures theme so we're doing fairy houses or troll houses today I hope that you have fun making one at home and if you do um, I'd love to see pictures of it and you could put it outside or you could put it in your room it's just something fun that you can do with with things that you have around your house or that you find in your yard. Um, and I'd love to see if you do it. So I hope you enjoyed this project and I will see you guys next week.